what's up my little title tells how y'all doing today well baby if you are chloe kardashian baby we think we got your number y'all what am i talking about the streets are talking if you guys don't know i did a video yesterday about the way chloe is like really left kim on red when she was hanging out with tristan a lot of people saying them hanging out was a little weird i don't know do y'all hang out with y'all sisters and brothers significant others when they're out of town especially after they dogged your sister out kim said she was watching chloe chloe said don't watch my man watch tv now again i don't think kim would but i 100 percent th think tristan would but y'all what is going on tristan also reunited with his one true love his baby's daddy uh corey gamble corey said uh excuse me mrs mrs jenna I don't want to know, can I have a day off? My friend Tristan's in town. And Chris said, go on, Corey. Just make sure you're you're back in time to give me a foot massage around nine. But all jokes aside, Corey was hanging out with Tristan today in LA. All right, fine. What does that all mean? Why is that important? You guys, the walk back is among us. Tristan is, the streets are saying Tristan is doing two things. One, He's trying to show Chloe he can trust him. Two, so Chloe feels comfortable enough to tell the world that they are back together. Now, I know what y'all thinking. Who would be that dumb? Now, think about who you said that about. Yes, who would be that dumb? Starts with a K, rhymes with Oe. Yeah, Chloe. <laughs> but all jokes aside, right? All jokes aside, right? If what the streets are saying is true, I don't know. But I'm going to run this by you and think because it kind of makes sense. They're saying that's part of the reason that Kylie was allowed to make up with Jordan. I know what y'all saying. What would Jordan and Cl Kylie have in common with Chloe? What does that have to do? Y'all, if you guys don't know, one of Chloe's biggest missteps, nine, one of the Kardashians' biggest missteps was literally trying to destroy Jordan Woods. It really was the death knell. It was when everything started going down and everybody really started paying attention to the way they move. Chloe was seen to spearhead that. And a lot of people said, how are you not mad at, how are you still with Tristan if you're mad with Jordan? The thing is, I don't know if Jordan knows that she was bought back as a tool for Chloe to rehabilitate her image so that Tristan would be accepted. Now it's a long shot, but people are saying this is one of the things that Chloe and Kris Jenner thinks they need to do. Chloe made Kylie break up with Jordan. I won't even say that. Kylie broke up with Jordan because she chose her sister's side. Listen, right or wrong, that is her sister, right? I would do the same thing for my sister, right or in the wrong. Yeah, I, I gotta, I gotta go. Sorry, girl, right? Because at the end of the day, all their men cheat. So literally the fact that in their minds, Jordan overstepped the bound, I can see why Cl Kylie took her sister's side. Again, everybody dragged her because Chloe again, put 20 on 10. Instead of just being like, oh my God, I'm so mad Tristan would do this. It's so embarrassing. She tried to act like Tristan was a God fearing man, faithful. And Jordan was this wayward hussy that tried to seduce her break up her fam i'm sorry seduce tristan break up her family and get her man little did we know that we came to find out tristan was cheating on chloe at that time with a number of girls he just decided to try something with jordan because you know jordan was looking right that night so what does that have to do chloe is desperate to get back with tristan publicly she wants she said it in plenty of um uh, what is it on, on that one podcast that she wants everyone to be proud of Tristan. She doesn't just want like that. She wants, doesn't just want to be proud of Tristan. She wants everybody to be proud of Tristan. Okay, fine. She wants everybody to be proud of Tristan. So what does that mean? Can't be proud of Tristan when Jordan is what everybody remembers as Chloe being dumb, Tristan being reckless and whatever. Chris Jenner found a way. And again, I don't agree with this. If this is true, I don't agree with it because they always blame Chloe for a fool. Chris Jenner, it seems like, has convinced Kylie, yo, 
bring Jordan back because they need the ratings. And baby, I will tune in to actually see them talk about their friendship. People are saying that dinner scene was filmed. It was all filmed. Even the selfie mirrors and the stuff, it's going to be on the next season of Keeping Up the Kardashians. I believe that, right? They're talking about Tristan's mom's death. You really think Jordan's off limits? However, one of the things that she convinced Chloe to be okay with it is if we bring Jordan back. Now, it's unclear whether there's going to be an actual sit down between Chloe and Jordan on Keeping Up with the Kardashians season four, but Kris Jenner is pushing hard for it. It's going to be must TV, must be CTV. And when Chloe says to, to I don't know how it's going to do, whether Jordan's going to apologize, blah, 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 blah. who knows? But once Chloe says, because remember how when Chloe and Kylie started talking again, TMZ even put in a headline, Chloe never stopped Kylie from being friends with her. Chloe is still posting memes about talk to others as you want to do to you and blah, 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 blah. She's still doing all that yang yang chit chat, what about wada wada wada, oh, who, 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 what, 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 right? Part of it is saying that Chloe has been convinced, people are saying by Kris Jenner, that if she mm, smooths things over with Jordan, now that could be Jordan kissing the rings, or it could be Chloe being like, you know, I, you got involved in a situation that was above you, and I took my anger out on you when the real person is this person, right? People are saying that Chloe believes that that will be the last thing to the public forgiving her. Maybe Jordan admitting she had more fault in it than what she admitted at the Red Table Talk. Chloe forgiving her so she can play Saint Martyr, moving on, and then going on to say that things are so good with her and Tristan that all's forgiven. And somehow Chloe thinks that that is going to be the walkthrough to Tristan being accepted back by the public. Let's be real. Tristan is living with Chloe. When they changed the baby's name, Tristan's address was Chloe's address. Even though he has a house down the street, he put his residence in Chloe's household. Okay? Down the street is where his brothers stay at, helpers, family members, or whatever. He stays with Chloe and um, what's gonna call it? Chloe and true and people are saying that's why she's like you're the best uncle ever to dream because dream don't really live with rob dream stays with chloe so whenever black china i'm sorry angela drops her baby off with the dad the nanny takes her straight over to chloe's house and that's another reason why tristan is like oh you're the best auntie to dream because baby when you're when tristan is there playing daddy he's playing daddy to both little girls both Dr true and dream y'all listen i don't know if this will work it seems super super plausible to me that she wasn't just bought back for kylie and if she is for kylie there is going to have to be some explosive sit down between her and chloe for season four now i don't know how much jordan got paid for it i hope she got paid a bag I would 100% watch that if that actually is what's going on. I mean, come on, Kris Jenner, get those ratings. But as far as Chloe thinking this is the way in, so here's the thing, Chloe, take you a raggedy man and just be happy. Just be raggedy. He is raggedy, he is raggedy, dirty, dusty, diggity dog. He got that dog in him. Take your raggedy man and just be happy. At the end of the day, no one really cares that Chloe's with Tristan. Yeah think she's stupid this and that but the drop comes when chloe tries to lie when she tries to gaslight people when she tries to talk down to people for things that she begged everybody to protect and help her with when she tries to play victim for her heart being torn out again and then she goes right back and turns around and be like ain't none of y'all talking about my man you see what i'm saying chloe take your piece of man and go however this is the thing because Chloe is always so misguided and I said this once I will say it again the issue is not whether you make peace with Jordan even though I am interested to see if Jordan actually apologizes to you or not people are saying that Jordan is going to apologize and take more blame than she did at the red table talk we'll see if she did I hope she better buy a mansion with what they paid her right I don't know if that's going to happen right even if they just sit down and hash it out I will watch that 
season four, she's talking to Kylie. Of course, she's going to have to talk to Chloe. Of course. I hope Jordan doesn't think that Kylie's wrong, but maybe this is a business arrangement for Jordan. But getting back to Tristan, right? Um, Tristan is a little scallywag. Go take your little piece of man and be happy. But here's the problem. As much as Chloe likes to blame haters, as long as she likes to blame the internet, as long as she likes to blame these girls that are pushing up on her man, the person that disturbs her peace is Tristan. And how does he do that? Every time she feels secure, every time she feels comfortable, every time she even dreams a dream that she deserves the bare minimum, Tristan finds a way to hiyuka, right? Hit her with that mortal combat, her soul, hiyuka, right? And then all that is gone. See, here's the thing. Chloe's talking about dealing, healing, moving on. Baby, if I was Chloe, I'd be scared to go next to Tristan because you already abandoned me when I was like about to give birth. You abandoned and humiliated me while the surrogate was giving birth. You had an outside baby, but you weren't even, well, no, it was because they were engaged. She was just keeping it a secret. Tristan has humiliated her so much. It was, and each time, each time he ups the ante in a new, more creative way. He is a dummy, but he's a creative demon. It was scare me to be next to him. Cause I would honestly be like, what else do you have planned? What else are you going to do? And baby, I know Tristan's walking around somewhere talking about some, and I found my next victim. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think. Would you watch season four? Keep it up. I'm saying what you watch. I want you watch it. Do you think Jordan's going to apologize? Do you think they're going to have a scene together? <laughs> Yo, shout out to Chris Jenner. The devil works hard, but Chris Jenner works harder. <laughs> Too bad one of the demons got out and is torturing her daughters right now. Listen, let me know what y'all think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.